Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor. Congratulations to friends of the High Line, especially Josh David and Bob Hammond, to Mayor Bloomberg, the City Parks Department, uh, Commissioner um, uh, Sada Khan, and to the many elected officials, community residents, and supporters who are, and contributors who have made this day possible. Back in the 1980s, when the fight to save the High Line, an abandoned relic of this neighborhood's industrial past, began, few of us could have imagined how this neighborhood would blossom, and even fewer could have imagined how the High Line would be transformed into the amazing public space we are celebrating today. Even though we did not know what would become of the space, some of us believed then that we should err on the side of preserving this piece of our city's history. Some of us thought, Maybe one day they'll want to develop the far west side. And if they do, maybe we'll want to run mass transit on the High Line. And maybe something else. We never thought of a park. But we knew that it made no sense to tear down infrastructure that you could not replace. So we fought. We fought some property owners. We fought uh, Conrail. We fought others. But we succeeded in saving this iconic steel trestle. The High Line is a symbol of the New York's great passes of transportation and manufacturing hub. I am proud to have been among those who fought for the High Line back then, and I am proud to stand here today to celebrate the opening of Section 2 of this beautiful park. Since those early days over two decades ago, we've seen the High Line become a premier outdoor destination for visitors and residents alike. Section 1 opened only two years ago, almost exactly two years ago today, in fact, and the number of visitors has grown to about two million each year. We're today heralding the opening of Section 2 for ten blocks, as the Mayor said. This section, which runs through three west side neighborhoods and is closely bounded by buildings that were once part of the area's industrial park past, reminds us of the neighborhood's history as we enjoy the unique park space. Rail lines ran through this neighborhood for 46 years, from 1929 to 1975. Actually, it should be to 1980. The last train ran in 1980, transporting meat, produce, and raw manufactured goods into Manhattan, often directly into factories and warehouses. By preserving this one-of-a-kind monument to New York's railroad heritage, we have harnessed a unique opportunity to create a spectacular public space for future generations to enjoy and admire. So I particularly want to congratulate uh, uh, um, um, Bob Hammond and Josh David for conceiving the idea of this not as mass transit, which some of us thought of in the 1980s, but as a park. That was unique and a new idea, and it's now come to fruition. Um, we did not know then what would become of the space, but uh, we knew it had to be preserved. The High Line is a tremendous investment in the future of the city, and I'm thrilled to have become part of the, to have been part of the process, and uh, I look forward to working with everybody to continue this great success. Thank you.